there are a number of ways to tick the boxes when it comes to enterprise investment scheme and seed enterprise investment scheme. And you can use it for a slate. So imagine if you've got a production company that's in Northern Ireland that's got eight pictures. You're mitigating the risk because you're moving the risk over a number of different film projects. That actually is a way to kind of get somebody more excited in the UK about partnering with you. So ultimately, it's just people who have a certain need for a tax relief. Okay. Television mm -hmm. can actually utilize a model very similar to independent filmmaking, where you bring all the money to make a television show, and then you own the IP. And that actually is a much more attractive model when it comes to distribution, because then you actually can have a brand that can have day and date on online, day and date in theater, day and date on your telephone, on your iPad. You know, There's just so many other avenues, video on demand, DVD release. All of these things are avenues for return on investment. But if you're raising independent investment and you're not giving away a percentage or a share to an investor or a channel or a theatrical partner, then you're going to be in a much better position to actually recoup your money so yeah. that there's not prints and advertising, P&A, yeah. on top of your production finance. The way movies happen is, is just believe in your own story. And I bet everybody's got a story out there. It doesn't matter whether you're flipping burgers, whether you're night porter at a hospital. We're used to digesting a lot of information in a minute or 30 seconds that I think that has more to do with it than, uh, than, the, than the technical revolution.